Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto 6 getting officially mentioned by Rockstar, which is pretty wild. Now, this didn't occur on their social media page or on their newswire. Where this actually came from was from a series of interviews that Rockstar employees did right after the release of the Cayo Perico heist. So several Rockstar employees did interviews with GQ Magazine, IGN, and even sites like Business Wire. I will leave links to all three of those in the description. And while most of the content talked about, you know, how Rockstar came about with the inception of GTA Online's Cayo Perico heist, we actually hear about the next installment in the Grand Theft Auto series, which would be GTA 6. And particularly, we hear this from the GQ article, where Sam White interviewed rock stars Tarek Hamad and Scott Butchard. And they actually have some very interesting things to say about Grand Theft Auto 5, GTA Online. But of course, I want to start with them talking about Grand Theft Auto 6, which actually occurs at the very end of the article. So again, I'll leave a link to this in the description. But essentially, throughout the article, they're talking about how GTA Online is adapting more single-player elements and that they really like this. So the article goes on to say, that seamless blend of solo and multiplay seems to be where Grand Theft Auto is headed next. They go on to say, I think you can see that with online, and I think going forward we're going to inject more of that single-player element in there. And then the article goes on to say, whatever lies ahead for the inevitable sixth entry into the iconic series, Hamad is conclusive when we ask if Rockstar will continue to tell single-player stories, even as online goes from strength to strength, and his quote, absolutely. So you can kind of see that they were like dancing around it there. No one officially said like Grand Theft Auto 6 or GTA 6, but they used the word where it's headed next, inevitable sixth entry. And so how I imagine this question went is Sam White of GQ, ended up saying, well, what about the next Grand Theft Auto game? What about GTA 6? As online continues to expand, is there still going to be a strong single player for the next Grand Theft Auto game? And I'm assuming that's what he said absolutely to. Like, yes, of course, there's going to be a strong single player. And I think this is obvious. This is at the core what Rockstar does really, really well. And I think if you were to see Rockstar make a transition to only focusing on multiplayer, we would have seen it by now. I mean, look at the success of Grand Theft Auto Online, and you had Red Dead Redemption 2 come out, and that was one of the best single-player experiences of all time. So I do not think that Rockstar is just going to completely abandon you know, the single-player story mode aspect of their games. I think online is obviously going to be a huge focus, especially more so than ever. I mean, even now, we're seeing that you can buy standalone versions of Rockstar's multiplayers. Red Dead Online is already available to buy standalone. We know GTA Online is going to be available to buy standalone in 2021. But this is really good news. Now, you might consider this to be obvious that Rockstar is going to have a single player element to their future games. But that is something that I think genuinely fans might actually be worried about. Is Rockstar seeing the success, the popularity, how much money it brings in in their online worlds? and just abandon single player. So I see this as tremendously good news that whenever GTA 6 arrives, whenever it comes out, it is going to have a strong single player and story mode element in there. It just looks like that online or multiplayer is also going to have a lot of single player elements in there as well. Now what's really interesting about this article is it's one of the first few times where Rockstar or someone from Rockstar actually mentions the existence of GTA 6. I think the last big time we saw this actually also came in another GQ magazine interview right after the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. In fact, I actually just went back and checked, and on October 24th, 2018, from the same author, Sam White, he ended up asking at the time Dan Hauser about Grand Theft Auto 6 and why he's thankful it's not releasing in the age of Trump. So to quickly refresh you guys on that, the article says Dan Hauser is thankful he's not releasing Grand Theft Auto 6 in the age of Trump. It's really unclear what we would even do with it, let alone how upset people would get with whatever we did, says the co-founder of Rockstar Games. Both intense liberal progression and intense conservatism are both very militant and very angry. 
It is scary, but also strange, and yet both of them seem occasionally to veer towards the absurd. It's hard to satirize for those reasons. Some of the stuff you see is straightforwardly beyond satire. It would be out of date within two minutes. Everything is changing so fast. So, my man, Sam White, is all about asking Rockstar whenever he gets the chance about Grand Theft Auto 6. So, those are like the very rare moments where the, the guys at Rockstar acknowledge that, like, yeah, GTA 6 is a thing, even though we haven't officially talked about it. Like, it's definitely a thing. So it's really cool. Uh, again, GQ and Sam White, whoever you guys are talking to, they always seem to bring up Grand Theft Auto 6, which I always think is very, very fun. Now, what makes all of this very interesting, sort of connecting this back to the Cayo Perico heist, is as soon as the Cayo Perico heist was announced, Grand Theft Auto 6 actually became trending on Twitter. This is like the second time that this has happened in the month of December. And I don't know why. I think it's because maybe people are seeing Cayo Perico Heist and the island, and maybe that's getting them excited for the potential of GTA 6. Thus, they're actually talking about it. We know that in the Cayo Perico Heist surveillance footage trailer, that there was actually a mysterious like GTA 6-esque Easter egg where the coordinates led to a road that looked like they were in the shape of a Roman numeral VI. So I don't know if that's what was generating all of the discussion about GTA 6, but it seems like every time Rockstar did something in the month of December, we were getting Grand Theft Auto 6 trending on Twitter. So I don't know if this prompted Sam White to talk about it. I don't know if that prompted the Rockstar employees to talk about it, if they were doing this on purpose, if this is them setting the so, sort of the table for something in 2021. I think before we get an official announcement from Rockstar regarding GTA 6, they have to completely get out the expanded and enhanced version of GTA 5 as well as the standalone version of Grand Theft Auto Online. I doubt they would talk about the sixth installment without having already talked about the one that came out back in 2013. So this is why things are kind of interesting on the GTA 6 front because you're literally getting people to talk about it from Rockstar. And there's also like mysterious Easter eggs that I don't know if they did on purpose or just trying to troll the community a little bit. But for the most part, that is everything that I have got for you guys in this video today. Again, if you're interested in checking out all three of the articles for yourself, I will leave a link to them in the description so you can get a better idea of the interviews that happened, what they talked about, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA, Red Dead Redemption, and Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.